one more level, one last chapter, one more event, win, and you're a freak style legend. <laughs> I've been a freak style legend plenty of times. I mean, that's not really the brag. It's not really that hard to beat it. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, it's the map you... Wait, hold on. Let me think about it. Hmm. Hate to love. Yeah, I'll say hate to love. Because this map, it fucking sucks the first time you play it. The first couple times you play, you're like, oh, no, not Rocket Garden. But once you get good at the game, there's so many different routes and pathways and ways to play the level that, honestly, you just have to tip your fucking hat. Or cap? Hat? I don't know. You just have to tip your foot. But how does this stupid part with the rocks that are just... That part is just freaking dumb. And I guess I'm restarting because if you don't get the top route, the map is completely unplayable. But... Like, besides that part with the rocks, like, you really just got handed to them. Like, they created so many different ways for you to beat the level. There's a bunch of different ramps. There's a way to build up speed. There's a way to get points. Like... This is just a great map. Like, for the finale, this is exactly what a final map should be. It should be tough, challenging, but at the same time, not completely unfair. It gives you a sense of reward, like, when you get to the higher path. Yeah, if you go down there, pff, good luck. You're gonna be in, like, mud and shit the whole time. Oh, yeah, if you're on this very top path... Um, hold down, because if you keep going, if you pull back, oh, my, hold forward, hold forward, because if you pull back, you will, um, if you, if you don't, then you will overshoot it and crash, so, yeah. Um, just showed you a couple things there, um, as you can tell, when I tried to make that turn, the wall was seriously clinging on to me. So yeah, word of advice, um, don't take that route. I'll be showing you how to avoid that route and still get the shortcut on the next time we go. Because that wall is very fucking glitchy, at least on the GameCube version. I don't know what other versions... I don't know the differences between the versions because this game's not very well documented, sadly, but... The only differences I can tell on the PS2 version, I don't know if this game's on Xbox. But on the PS2 version, the tweak button is actually one of the face buttons, I believe. Since, you know, on Xbox, I mean, oh my god, what am I even saying? On GameCube, your, your trick buttons are X, Y, L, and R. But on PlayStation, your trick buttons are R1, R2, L1, and R1. Why? Because there's no L, there's no, um, there's no L2 on, um, GameCube. Like, there's no LT or L2. Or, by the way, there's no L1. There's no L1 or LB on GameCube. It's just Z. So, they had to get creative with the way they aligned the tricks on the GameCube version. Because I believe the tweak is actually square or X, or square or circle on PlayStation 2. So that means that your boost is also square, and then, you know, your tricks are with the um, back buttons, which probably feels more comfortable. I'm more used to tricking with X and Y, and I like having Z as boost, even though you could change it. Alright, here we go. You guys want to see the weirdest fucking shortcut? So, you have these boxes here, just sitting here, and you're just like, oh, hey, I want to go here. Shortcut. Like, what? I completely messed up the shortcut. The shortcut's supposed to take you past this entire part, which is how I was going to show you guys how to just skip that stupid wall. But no, I just had to completely destroy the shortcut. Like, I, I'm just, I'm mad right now because that shortcut is pretty fucking cool. Like, I don't know who I remember saw going through there, but I watched someone else go through there and I was like, wow, really, there's a shortcut there? This just, this just further cements my beginning monologue on how great this map is. Even though I don't think it's better than Burn It Up, Motoplex, 
or let it ride. But I think at the highest level of the game, which kind of a dumb statement because how many people care about this game in the world right now? Like five. But I think once you get at the peak of this game, this is probably the level with the most replay value. It's just my opinion, though. The trick threshold is very easy as well. It's only 50,000 more than Gnome Sweet Gnome. I don't know why. They could have made it like 400,000 at least, but they are being generous, I guess. I'm in first by a good margin. And I'm one lap away from being a freestyle champion. And yes, I am using logger. I'm not switched back to the first bike because simply because usually the first bike has the worst tricks and I want to win, you know? You really need really good jumping to reach these two shortcuts. All the reason why jumping is very important. So here's how the shortcut is supposed to go. You're supposed to get up here. And just smooth sailing, really. You basically skip that little part with the two intersecting um, routes. And you just end up here. So it's not a big crazy shortcut, but it does save you about 8 seconds, I would say. Do I even have enough time for that? Wow. Pardon. I don't get the joke with Executioner and Pardon. Maybe someone could explain that to me. Like, okay, let me explain. So, if you do a no-hander, you tweak it to a point, right? That makes sense. You do, you do a double can and you tweak it. You do this, right? You tweak it to an air walk. That makes sense. You can't tweak your freakout tricks. That just doesn't exist. And for example, it, like you get where I'm going. You tweak, you tweak a Superman into a one-handed Superman. So like, they kind of like pun off of each other. Like for example, Goofy Foot Toe Jam, Tsunami Tidal Wave, um, Cliffhanger Kickback. But like, what, what's the thing with Executioner and Pardon? Like, I don't understand that. Like, someone could help me out with that maybe. Like, Pardon. Like, is that kind of like... I don't know. Can I see, look. Steamroller. Roadkill. Oh, okay, that makes sense, right? But, like, what is what is the correlation with Executioner and Pardon? Like, I don't understand. So, you know, maybe they're not all related, and I'm looking too deep into it, and my god, I beat the shit out of them. Look at the time. It wasn't even close. So now that you've completed the Freakstyle circuit, you're the ultimate freak. You can brag to your friends and family and tell them that you're the ultimate freak. Now you gain access to the sickest, sweetest Freakstyle venue around, the Burbs. And the Burbs is just this cool fucking place where you just do all kinds of sick tricks. And I will be showing it off in the next episode. Which hopefully I won't have to wait too long for. Maybe I should switch Greg's gear because he's been in that fucking... He, he's been in that yellow and green for a while now.